Put your faith in the light. Hello guys, welcome to another one of my videos. This is Lightblade. And well guys, this time it is truly Lightblade because yes, we went back to Alliance and we recovered our OG name of my main paladin, Lightblade. As you can see on the top left of your screen, we got our name back and I'm really happy about it. I'm also happy that I can play now the race I prefer and be on the faction I mostly like, you know, because I always uh, started playing, I, when I started playing the game, I always always Alliance and now I can go back to it because we have the cross-faction things. So yes, in this video, we're going to be talking about all the cross-faction things that are coming tomorrow and like uh, maybe we're talking about what race is better for Retribution Paladins, you know, because like human isn't the best race in terms of DPS, but it's a pretty decent one. So now let's get into the video. So cross-faction changes, guys. This is a really nice surprise that Blizzard gave us because I was expecting these changes like to come in maybe two, three weeks, not just like tomorrow, you know. It was like a nice surprise to have because uh, as we all know, Alliance population isn't on the best at the moment. Currently, uh, the Fall of Fame has already fulfilled as a horde, but I think there is only 18, people, 18 guilds that are in Alliance side. So yes, this is going to be really, really nice for mostly alliance players if you're a horde player you're basically having more options of people that are going to queue for your keys but if you're an alliance player you're going to you're going to notice that there's going to be a lot more groups to queue in you know like a lot of them if you played alliance before the cross faction thing you will notice this really really fast on all types of gameplay pvp uh, raids and mythic plus so you're not going to just stay there like for 20 minutes waiting on a tank or a healer because there's going to be more people from the horse side or the alliance side depending on what you play um, to pick from which is going to be really nice on the retribution pound in front so i'm a human human is a pretty decent choice as uh, numerically in terms of dps because you're the human racial the um, human spirit gives you two percent of all your secondary stats that's basically about four to five gems in uh, in stats that you're gaining just by existing as a human which is pretty nice on top of that you have your little uh, will to survive three minute trinket on stuns which is really nice if you do pvp on pvp content it does help you on some fights uh, I, I something that i can remember on the top of my head now is maybe in the first part of mists if you get targeted by those tall guys they stun you and you can just remove it with your trinket and not have to wait for someone to free you dps in the pod you know which is just something situational but it's there if you can use it you know uh, the better races if you're like going for that min max uh, are dark iron dwarf and light forge drain the dark iron dwarf just has a basically an extra trinket that gives them main stat because of fire blood for a few seconds which is really powerful if you line it up with your wings and all your other cooldowns and the light forge drain has the advantage in aoe pulls if you can do all the like a big aoe pull and like throw your drain laser beam from the sky it does a ton of damage so those two races have a bit of an advantage over humans but I picked human because I just like how humans look like. Look at this armor, man. It looks so good on human. This is basically the armor from the Work of Three trailer. If you see that, you're going to see this armor. Heroes arise to challenge fate and lead their brethren to battle. Anyways, guys, I hope this cross-faction change helps fix the population balance because, like, the Alliance population has been dwindling down over the years. I think it started in Warlords of Draenor when the Alliance just start, started dipping down. And then after that, it was a, basically a domino effect. The first reason was racials. Horde racials were better. After that, uh, in some instances, like, for example, in Mythic Tomb of Sargeras, high-level guilds actually needed the rocket jump from goblins to do progression on mythic uh, on kill jaden because there was a mechanic that you needed that thing if you didn't have a mobility spell uh, after that basically it wasn't actually the racials because they added the new like allied races that had better racials than the horde ones uh, even though at that point like the the problem was just too far gone a lot of people already moved to horde and just stayed there because their friends played horde so they couldn't move back to alliance and like I said, it was a domino effect. And now I hope this change actually makes uh, makes people go back to Alliance, like to go back to the, the faction they prefer, the races they prefer, and like fix the population balance thing. And one thing they really, really have to add in Dragonflight 
is cross faction guilds. If they do that, they basically fix the the faction uh, problem. You know, there's no going to be an imbalance or anything because you can play on whatever faction you want, and you're still going to be able to progress as a guild. So, guys, those are my thoughts on cross faction and why did I change to human. So, if you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching, everyone.